What's up everybody, it's CMP with Craftmaster Productions and Studio12Tutorials.com Don't forget to stop by Studio12Tutorials and pick up your premium membership, it is 50 cents a day. And don't forget to stop by Studio12Tutorials and grab Arrangement Arsenal 10 of the most current hit song arrangements broken down on the timeline for you. Easy to just plug and play your own templates and arrange your beat around these. So today I just want to go over a, um, just like a quick, um, a quick tip that something I had never done before I had actually tried it out here now I have this sample and I was just I was just listening to a vibe and alright so the the one thing I heard when when I was listening to it, I was kind of putting effects on it. I was like, "Yo, I wish there was a delay on this um on this first vocal." Because if I would, it, you know, in a lot of beats, I, I like I have a like I have a whole folder of different uh, vocal libraries, and those are just one shots, and I like to use them like like how we would use cymbals back in the day on the downbeat, but. I always have a, a nice delay on it you know that's a that's the type of stuff i'm drawn to i wanted to kind of replicate that here but the problem is this is a sample so all the sounds are together so i don't have that isolated right so i was like you know what let me just let me just go ahead and chop that that piece right there so i just duplicated the track um inserted you know inserted this like it was an actual vocal chop sample now here is where the uh is where the trick comes in right so i don't want the sample to be louder than what it is by duplicating by duplicating this so what i did was if you turn the fader down and you hit this button on on your send um you know because i run my delay on the, on my sends if you hit this button it will still even if you have the volume all the way down, the sound will still send to your um to the aux track that has the echo on it. So now you get this. This is without it. So yeah, there's it, it's 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 a subtle difference. The other the other great um, thing about using this technique, it is a, it allows you to create different rhythms within within your delay. So without um, without these two, you hear the delay ends right around um, right around this note. That's where the um, that's where the feedback of it ends. But when you drop one when you drop one right here, it allows you to add you know another another um another delay um before the turnaround of this note and just adds a nice swing to it all right so that's it um just just real quick to wrap it up uh if if you want to you know if you want to delay just a certain piece of a sample just go ahead just go ahead and chop it out um duplicate your track all you got to do is hold down um alt and drag the track up and you want to look for where it says duplicate com complete because that's going to allow you to copy all the effects that you had on this track all the routing it keeps everything the same and then just turn the volume down on this one and click this button right here to um to you know to turn prefader off once you see it's yellow that's how you know that's how you know you're good
and then just adjust the uh, the volume of your scent to taste. So it's a CMP with Craftmaster Production Studio1Tutorials.com. Keep it simple, don't be basic, and we will see you on the next one.